Jason from Makera here with another Makera cam tutorial. And in this one, we are looking at the basic navigation and view options in Makera cam. So the first thing we want to talk about is the functionality of the mouse. So by default, left clicking is to select things. So for example, I can click on something in my design and select it with the left mouse button. The center button will zoom in and out the center wheel by scrolling in and out. Or if you click and drag the center wheel, that will pan side to side. And right clicking opens up your options menu. Now, if I hold shift as I click in the center wheel, I actually begin to rotate or orbit around. So clicking in the center wheel will pan, holding shift and clicking in the center wheel will rotate. Now we can also adjust what the left mouse button does. So again, it's select by default, but by using this left mouse option menu, we can change it from selecting to panning, rotating, or zooming. So for example, if I use pan, now you'll notice that my cursor changes. And when I click with the left mouse, I actually pan. Likewise, we could rotate or even zoom. I can now zoom by clicking or zoom out by Alt clicking, so holding Alt on my keyboard as we go. Then we actually have the views or the camera views. So we have our little view cube here, which you can click on and drag. This is doing the same thing as rotating, but if you'd like, you can snap to a side. So snap to the back or the left or an isometric or corner view like this to change your perspective. And you can always click the little house icon to sort of take you home. You can grab these options from the camera menu here, which is where you can, just like I did, change your camera view or go back to a perspective view. And then we also have our zoom options here where you can zoom in, zoom out, or fit the window. So if you have a larger design, for example, say I enable something like this and zoom in, if I click fit, it will make sure that the entirety of the design fits in my space. And these options that you see here on the toolbar can also be found under the view menu, but you also have the options to hide or show the toolbar. So let's say for example, you wanna hide the status bar down at the bottom, you could do that. Or if you want, you can hide the toolbar or even the stock and functions panel by hiding the project windows as well. Now, in terms of selecting objects, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can, of course, click directly on something. And if you hold shift, you can click and select multiple objects. You can see that vector outlines turn into a dotted line when selected. And when working with raster photographs, the outline of that photograph will be highlighted in whatever the colors is set for the layer as well. But we can also change the way things are selected when doing a selection box. For example, of course, if you select something and the entirety is highlighted like this, the whole thing will be selected. But what if I only partially select? So notice that if I drag a box to the left and the M and the A are partially selected, the entirety of the design is actually selected. So if you drag a box to the left, anything that's touching the selection box, even if it's only partially touching like this M, the whole shape will be selected. If I drag a box to the right, only the things that are entirely selected will be. So notice that I'm hovering over the K just a little bit and it's not selected, only the A is. So let's say for example, I wanna select just uh, the Makera logo and not the holes, right? If I drag a box to the right, even though I'm touching all the holes, they're not selected because they weren't entirely in the selection box. Where if I was going to now drag a box to the left and I'm only partially selecting the holes, they will be selected because I went to the left. So you have the options of which way you drag, which is super handy when you're trying to select really small things. Let's say for example, I'm trying to select just the R and not the A and there's not really a gap between these shapes. Dragging a box to the right will allow me to select just the R if I were to drag a box to the left, it would select the A as well because it's partially selected, but of course not the inside of the A because I didn't grab that. So a couple different options with selecting things, navigating, and moving around in the Makera Cam program.